the most difficult tunnel to build, 173 meters China dug for six years. After the construction was completed, Germany called it impossible. Let's find out more in this video. China is known around the world as a monster of infrastructure and its technology is world class. The reason why China's infrastructure can achieve such success is because China's construction team dares to do things that other countries do, not dare to do. In the journey of modern infrastructure, China's infrastructure also dares to challenge a variety of projects that outsiders seem impossible to achieve. Among them is a tunnel that experts around the world say is undiggable. A section of construction length of 173 meters alone has stumped tunnel experts around the world. Even during the construction of the tunnel, experts were invited from Germany, but the German experts were also at a loss. Even so, the Chinese construction team did not give up, but used a combination of various construction plans and finally successfully built the most difficult tunnel in six years. When they learned that the tunnel was through, the Germans said it was impossible. So how difficult is this tunnel to build? Why did China build this tunnel? The most difficult to build, the Humaling Tunnel. Humaling Tunnel, located in Lanzhou, Gansu Province, is also one of the tunnel groups of the Lanzhou and Chongqing Railway. As one of the many tunnels of the Lanyu Railway, why is it called the most difficult tunnel to repair? It turns out that because of its special location, the tunnel needs to cross a reservoir and a river. As a result, the soil moisture around this tunnel is very heavy, especially the surrounding rock liquefaction is very serious. This also makes Humaling Tunnel a very typical Lust Tunnel. Lust Tunnel is characterized by unstable soil structure, very easy to lose. When digging, it is necessary to always pay attention to the loosening of the surrounding soil and to always stabilize the soil to prevent cracks and further cracking, resulting in collapse. Not only should pay attention to usually, but also pay attention to rainy days. With the wetting of the rain, the soil is easy to settle, and the soft soil at the bottom cannot be supported, cracks appear, and finally collapse. The weather cannot be controlled, so the possibility of collapse after rain is very high. In this way, considering the safety of personnel, the Chinese engineering team cannot be constructed for a while. In addition, because it is close to the reservoir and river, the construction also needs to always consider the danger of water inrush around the tunnel, which is also the primary consideration of the engineering team. Taken together, these problems not only greatly hindered the progress of construction, but also hindered the construction team to continue to move forward. The Chinese engineering team can only suspend work and find a way to deal with it. If this problem is not solved in time, it is impossible to continue to dig forward. After China learned the seriousness of the problem, it quickly called in well-known engineering experts at home and abroad to discuss solutions. But without exception, there is no rational solution. It is also from this beginning that the Humaling Tunnel has become a tunnel problem in China and even the world, and many foreign experts have given up. In the later statistics of the most difficult tunnel projects around the world, the name of this tunnel can always be seen. In China, the construction of the tunnel is even referred to as punching a hole in jellied bean curd. Through this series of descriptions, it can be seen that the difficulty of building the Humaling Tunnel, but the Chinese project has relied on its own strength to complete the project. Although the tunnel is only 173 meters long, it would take a train just five seconds to pass through it. But in order to open it took six years, the Chinese project also relied on this great victory and successfully went to the world. 
It took six years to dig only 173 meters of tunnel. In the process of completing this so-called impossible task, what kind of difficulties have been experienced? The decision to build the tunnel began in September 2008. It was officially completed in September 2017 after six years. According to the speed of the project at the beginning, the actual construction can be completed in only half the time. The problem is the last 173 meters in the beginning. In order to solve the problem as soon as possible to complete the tunnel construction, China found German experts. Before seeing the Humeling Tunnel, the German experts also assured the Chinese project that they would solve the problem as soon as possible, but when they came to the field for observation, the German experts were stumped. The situation was more serious and troublesome than expected, but German scientists have come up with a solution. But all these schemes ended in failure, without exception. Until finally the German scientists had no choice but to give up, and then China has found other internationally famous engineering experts, made many attempts, but still no progress. In the end, as soon as these engineering experts heard that it was the Humalin Tunnel, they began to reject it. But the project has been more than half done, only the last 173 meters can be completed. It is impossible to give up like this, so domestic engineering experts gathered together and made a new round of attempts. After many attempts and numerous failures, a solution to the problem was finally found. That is to combine a series of new technologies such as the six steps excavation method, vacuum dewatering, and nine steps excavation method at that time. Although solutions were found, they were dangerous to implement, and each step was a new attempt. Along the way, dangers, large and small, have occurred. According to statistics, the workers involved in this project alone reached 1,200 people, divided into seven teams at the same time while using comprehensive technology to dig, while closely observing the surrounding situation in order to cope with emergencies. The average daily progress was only 2 to 3 meters, and even then there were several sudden surges of water and sand into the tunnel, with four major surges occurring over a six-year period. In addition, the construction also required the cleaning of the mortar inside the tunnel, which was also a huge project and a total of 150,000 cubic meters were cleared during the six years. Due to the need to excavate the tunnel all year round, in addition to the original geological problems, the temperature generated by the climate conditions also affects the excavation and construction of the tunnel at all times. Especially in winter, the temperature continues to drop even to zero, the engineering team at this time, in addition to their own to keep warm, resist the cold. An extra team will be needed for daily ice breaking. Due to reservoirs and rivers, the soil humidity is high, and when the temperature is too low, it is very easy to freeze, which will also affect the construction of the project. Therefore, continuous ice breaking is needed, and only by clearing these obstacles can we ensure the smooth construction of Humeling Tunnel. Hard work pays off. After six years of time, the tunnel has finally been completely through, and this news was announced. Quickly in the country, and even the world caused a warm response. A project that shocked the world. Subsequently, newspapers around the world, as well as television, are about the success of the Chinese project to open the Humeling Tunnel reports and even on the global newspaper. In the statistics of the most difficult tunnels around the world, when China's Humeling Tunnel is mentioned, it not only describes the tunnel as loose as being curd, but also emphasizes the successful completion of Chinese projects.
those foreign experts who had given up the research and construction of the Humaling Tunnel at this moment, they also called it incredible, and at the same time, they once again issued feelings and heartfelt admiration for the Chinese project. With the successful completion of the Humaling Tunnel, it also indicates that the Lan Yu Railway Line, which was once the least optimistic, can finally be successfully open to traffic. The successful construction of this tunnel not only means that the Lanzhou Railway is open to traffic, but also becomes an important support for China's railway network. It connects the two major river basins of the Yellow River and the Yangtze River, bringing many economic benefits to the development of cities along the line, stimulating the exchanges between cities, driving the development of tourism industry, and further promoting China's economic development. The successful penetration of this tunnel has undoubtedly filled the gap in the construction technology of fine sand. Tunnels similar to the Humaling Tunnel in the world led the world to overcome this international problem and established the status of Chinese engineering in the world. It is also this time that China has won the reputation of infrastructure monster whenever mentioning Chinese projects. Everyone will give a thumbs up and praise, and China's name is also thoroughly launched in the world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.